Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Arlo Maverick, man of many hats who just happens to rap, and today we're talking about IG basics. Now, for some of us as artists, Instagram is our preferred platform in order to connect with fans and to connect with the industry as well, too. So, what I wanted to do is give you guys a few tips on some basics that you should have when it comes to your IG page. Number one, often overlooked, but should be something that should be included is your location. Where are you located at? Whether it be the country you're from or the city you're from, this allows you to actually access more opportunities because people will be able to know where you're at and be like, yo, like this artist, let's see if we can actually get them involved with what we're doing. Number two, a link in your bio to more information or more content related to you. I did a previous vlog that talked about Linktree, which is the platform that I use to actually connect people with the stuff that I do. So make sure to check that out, but make sure that you have something in your bio that allows for your fans and for industry and for anybody who you're trying to connect with to actually reach you. Number three, content that demonstrates and shows your work. A lot of artists will have these amazing, picturesque IG pages, but never do they actually show what they do. Show yourself in the studio, put a snippet of your song, show something so that if someone says, hey, I wanna know more about this artist and goes to your page, they could actually see what you do. Because a lot of artists will be like, hey, you know what, I'm a songwriter, hey, I'm a, I'm a rapper, hey, I'm a singer. But then someone goes to their page and all of a sudden it's like 21 pictures of them posing, hanging out with their friends, but it has nothing to do with their art. So show your work. Number four, a short and compelling bio. You don't have a lot of text to use, so get creative. You are an artist. Be thoughtful, be mindful, and come up with something that's going to hook people. My former bio used to say, music that's well-rounded like Beyonce's hips. A lot of people will be like, okay, that's cool. Let me check this out. So that's what you should be doing. Create something that actually hooks people in and lets them see your artistry through your creative and short bio. Number five, Instagram allows you to have your email address listed. So why not put it there so if people want to get in touch with you for opportunities, they have a place they can reach you at. Make sure to put your email address in there so that people could find you and connect with you. Number six, a photo of you or something related to you as an artist, whether it be your album cover, whether it be your logo, whether it be something, a photo of you on stage performing or an editorial pic, put something in there so people could know who you are and it ties back into your brand. In closing, I wanna thank you for checking out this vlog. If you found yourself to be more informed by the end of it, then please make sure to click that like button as well too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which is youtube.com slash Arlo Maverick as well too. Don't forget, we have a comment section below, so please make sure you add to the conversation and throw in some of your suggestions or comments related to this topic as well too. Don't forget, you can find me on social media at Arlo Maverick on everything. We're talking about Instagram, Instagram, so please make sure to check out my Instagram page at Arlo Maverick. Just released a new project. Wouldn't mind you checking it out on Spotify. But until the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, peace.